Hello and welcome to the first half of a two-part video. The second part of the video is going to be a walk around the lost medieval village of Barton Blount. Whilst this first half is a Mavic Mini flight over Church Broughton. Church Broughton is located in the Warren of Lanes west of Derby and is just along from Sutton on the Hill which is featured in a previous video of mine and the church of which can be seen on the horizon to the left of this shot along with the cooling towers of Willington power station. The name Broughton derives from the old English term Brookton which means simply settlement by the brook. The church prefix came about because of a, another settlement called Broughton near Sudbury which was later known as West Broughton. In some ways it could be said that Church Broughton is the reincarnation of the abandoned village of Barton Blount less than a mile to the north. Barton's history could be traced back to Saxon times whereas Church Broughton is a relatively modern settlement dating from the 13th century. Barton disappeared largely due to the Black Death plague of the mid 14th century. The lands in this area were in the hands of the de Ferris family following the Norman invasion along with Tutbury where they established a castle and a priory. As such the history of both Barton and Church Broughton are intertwined with that of Tutbury. The Grade 1 listed Church of St Michael and All Angels can be traced back to the 12th century with much addition and restoration most recently in 1845 and then 1886. It is set in a beautiful churchyard which was extended up to Main Street by the demolition of two cottages in 1874. This partly explains why the alignment of the road and the church are at odds with one another. Over a span of 70 years, at the end of the 19th century and into the early 20th century, the incumbent vicars at Church Broughton were the Reverend Alfred Auden and his nephew, the Reverend William Auden. Both were related to the famous poet W. H. Auden. Let's now have a closer look at the beautiful church. While we're on the ground, let's now have a walk around the village. Right, back to the Mavic Mini to continue our look at the village from the air. Whilst agriculture has been the predominant industry in the area for generations, throughout the 18th and 19th centuries local inhabitants also found employment in gravel extraction and brick making. Cheese production was a way of life for the farms in the area during the 19th century, though in the 20th century the new condensed milk factory at Hatton became the primary customer for the area's dairy farmers. According to Janet Arthur's detailed history of the village on the excellent churchbroughton.com website, by the mid 19th century the village had four shoemakers, a blacksmith, a wheelwright, three butchers, a baker, three pubs and other trades. The county constabulary had a station here, seen in this shot in the foreground, 
its former purpose given away by the absence of any windows on its north face. It's now in private ownership, of course. Two events in the 20th century had a fundamental impact on Church Broughton. The Second World War saw an area just to the south of the village called Heath Top turned into a three runway airfield. For most of its war service RAF Church Broughton was a satellite station of 21 operational training unit at Litchfield teaching pilots to fly Wellington bombers. It was also notably used by Rolls Royce to test its first jet engines. RAF Church Broughton holds the claim to fame of hosting the maiden flight of the Gloucester Meteor in August 1944. This was the very first jet aircraft to enter service for an air force anywhere in the world. Today the site is largely covered by industrial units and is called Dove Valley Park. The other significant event for Church Broughton was considerably less glamorous. That was the laying of a main sewer pipe to the village. This had the effect of enabling a surge in housing, turning the village into what it is today, and yet another dormitory village servicing Derby, Burton and beyond, albeit a compact and not disagreeable example. It retains a village primary school and the Marston's owned Hollybush Inn, a notable eatery. For anything else, however, its residents need to jump in the car or order online. That's it for this tour of Church Broughton. Look out for my walk around Barton Blount, starting from Church Broughton, beyond the channel in a few days. Thanks for watching.